Michael Holden, nicknamed Whisper in Death. Why is that? A, because he was such a quality bowler, but bowled like lightning. But he run up almost, you couldn't hear him coming. Normally a fast bowler comes up with a lot of aggression, he's got a lot of power, he's going to put a lot of effort into it. Michael just glided along. And I know umpires like Dickie Bird said to me, they were stood there waiting for him coming and they couldn't hear him. That's why the whispering part, the death because he got wickets and he could hurt you. In an era where there weren't many helmets around, and for one period until Packer in 77, 78, there were no helmets. Um, he could make the ball move a little bit, but I don't think movement was his greatest strength. It was genuine pace, accuracy allowed to that. He was a tall bowler as well, six foot four, so he got a certain amount of bounce. When I played against him, he was the fastest bowler I ever faced, uh, two or three times. I always felt that although he was that quick, that he was bowling within himself. That's a little bit scary when he's the fastest you've faced in your career, and yet you feel there's a little bit more there to come if he really wanted it. And I think that was because he came in with such ease and fluency. He made it look beautifully rhythmical, didn't he? As if it was no real trouble to him. And bowling fast is a great skill. And you're blessed if you, if you can bowl quick. Because any captain would die to have a fast bowler in his team. They are the ace in the pack. They're the ones that usually win test matches. A good man off the field. I mean, he'll be remembered for certain moments in his career. For bowling me out in his first over in Barbados in 1980. When I never laid uh, bat on ball. One hit me in the chest, one on top of the thigh. I missed the ball, one I gloved out of my neck, two I think I gloved out of my neck, and then he knocked my off stump over. That'll be a, a magical moment. That'll get played. I suppose it'll be incident in New Zealand when he kicked the stumps out of the ground. But I think also there'll be the magical time when he bowled England out at the Oval in 76 on what was a pretty flat pitch. And nobody else could generate the pace he could. But you see, fast bowlers generate pace through the air. Nobody bowls a ball that quickens up after it's pitched. It's an illusion that every ball slows up a little bit. But if you can get it quick enough through the air, you can do people with pace. And that's what he did at the Oval. Didn't do anything, flat pitch, hot sunny day. But he got the ball through the air so quick and accurately, he got a bundle of wickets in 76. And that would probably be his finest moment. Truly great bowler.